Okay, here we have a older sergeant padlock. Here's the bidding for the key. A total bitch. I've been the vice, so it's kind of sticky, but uh. There we go. I haven't ever been to this before, so we'll find out how it goes. Let's move this up a bit. There it is picked. That was the first time I've done that, so I'm pretty happy with myself right now. Here's the padlock. Here's the chain on it. This actually came. Uh, I had to assemble it. You can see it wasn't done very well, but it came in the original box. Uh, this. I think I had to shave this down, I think was the main point of this. These weren't deep enough. Uh, I had to hit them in a little bit. The uh, problem with that was that I didn't realize that if the padlock is upright, key turns fine. If the padlock is upside down, keys don't work. The uh, reason for that is, is that uh, there's a little bit of space above the springs, and they can fall. If it's upside down, they can fall down a bit, and then obviously you're not going to get the right shear line. Uh, this was another thing that was a total bitch. Uh, I had to make my own, um, my own piece. Uh, basically, the problem was the original was too thick, and uh, these all around were possibly the most ag the, the most aggravating lock to put together I've ever come across. Uh, the plug went in, but when this piece went in, the original piece, it uh, it made the plug you couldn't turn it at all whatsoever. So I had to file down my own piece and push some. Uh, more stuff in there, but now we have a, uh, a working padlock, so it's always cool. Another weird thing is it goes counterclockwise only. Uh, clockwise will not open the lock, uh, even if you pull in the shackle, won't do it. It has to be counterclockwise. That's about it. Cool old sergeant padlock. Just ridiculous bidding. And, uh, I like chains, man. <laughs> well, that's it. See you later.